July 2021, a diabetic patient who needed constant insulin shots and was suffering from multiple diabetic-induced medical disorders undergoes a groundbreaking new treatment for curing his diabetes. Just after two weeks of surgery, there were changes in the patient's blood sugar levels. This patient used to suffer events of severe elevated blood sugar levels at regular intervals and these events completely vanished. And right now, researchers might be looking for a small group of volunteers to treat them with their new therapy. Yes, we finally have the technology. Diabetes can be cured completely. This new treatment that cures diabetes is based on cell therapy, wherein we transplant human cells to replace or repair damaged cells. And it works. This pioneering treatment and its results were published in the world's most preeminent journal, Nature. Now, can you go for this treatment from a clinic in your place? As of now, it's a possibility if you are from a specific country. Three months, that's all the time this treatment requires to completely cure diabetes. I told this to a diabetic friend and I was laughed out of the room. But once I showed him my sources and he knew about my background in medicine, he was ready to take in this news. So I explained. July 2021, a diabetic patient who needed constant insulin shots and was suffering from multiple diabetic-induced medical disorders undergoes a groundbreaking new treatment for curing his diabetes. By September 2021, he no longer required external insulin to maintain his blood sugar level. In 2022, he gradually reduced his oral medications to control blood sugar and ultimately went medicine-free. Doctor's examination revealed that the patient's pancreatic function was normal and there was no need for diabetic medications. Fast forward to 2024, the patient has been insulin free and there seems to be no change in the status quo. No more diabetes. So how was this possible? When the male sperm cell meets the female egg, this results in the formation of a single cell organism called a zygote. This single cell organism starts dividing and eventually takes the form of your vital organs and your entire body. Think of that single cell organism as the ancestor to the approximate 30 trillion cells that are present inside you. Now imagine a patient who is suffering from end stage kidney disease and the doctors need to do a kidney transplant to save the patient's life. To find the perfect kidney that the patient's body accepts without rejection or other complications is a difficult task. Yet, if you have that single-celled organism, the ancestor to all the cells in your body, and if we have the technology, we can recreate almost any organs or a tissue that someone might need in case of a disease or an injury. That's a broad oversimplification of how this new technology works. Here are the chain of events on how the patient was cured. Our diabetic patient who was miraculously cured had his blood harvested by researchers for producing stem cells. Think of stem cells as ancestor cells that can eventually develop into many different types of cells based on your body's demand. Once the researchers isolated the required stem cells from the patient's blood, with those cells, they generated the pancreatic cells that are responsible for generating insulin in their laboratory with the technology we just discussed. After the proper safety examinations, these newly generated pancreatic cells were surgically implanted into our diabetic patient. Do note, our patient was suffering from type 2 diabetes in which the body doesn't produce enough insulin or responds poorly to it. Type 2 diabetes makes up to 90% of all diabetic cases. And in the case of our diabetic patient, his body just wasn't producing enough insulin, which scientists fixed by making new insulin-producing cells in a laboratory and implanted it inside his body through surgery. This groundbreaking new treatment is based on the principles of cell therapy, where we utilize the body's own regenerative capabilities to help heal injuries or diseases. Okay, what were the results of this new treatment for our patient? Extreme caution is observed when new treatment like this is done for patients. First things first, in the two years of follow-up after the treatment, there were no tumors observed from the MRI scans in the stomach region, nor were there any tumor markers found in the patient's blood. Wait, tumor markers? You mean a possibility of cancer? Yes, there is always such risk when working with this type of technology. The new cells were of course lab grown and they were implanted. So their behavior when inside the body trying to adapt to the new environment could raise concerns. Hence the scientists wanted to make sure. 
and there were no abnormalities on this front. However, there were some complications because of this treatment. His stomach was swollen for a time being and the patient was not feeling hungry. As a result, he lost some weight. But more importantly, the goals of this new treatment was this. To reduce the number of insulin injections the patient has to take to maintain healthy blood sugar and bring back the body's ability to produce natural insulin which will cure his diabetes. Here's what happened in respect to these goals. Just after two weeks of surgery, there were changes in the patient's blood sugar levels. This patient used to suffer events of severe elevated blood sugar levels at regular intervals and these events completely vanished. In the following 12 weeks or 2 months after surgery, there was a gradual stabilization of the patient's blood glucose levels. The various stress results started to resemble that of a person that was not suffering from any form of diabetic issue. And after 3 months, more tests revealed that the treatment was indeed a success and the patient was completely cured of his diabetes. So the end goals were met and the patient walked out medicine free. We can actually check all these test results cause it's all there in the journal paper that was published. Okay, can anyone opt for this new treatment if yes, where and how? This is the first inhuman tissue replacement therapy that has been carried out by scientists for a diabetic patient. And right now researchers might be looking for a small group of volunteers to treat them with their new therapy. So this is how it works. A new groundbreaking drug slash treatment is first proposed and there are something called trials where you test your new therapy with live subjects. Trials can involve laboratory grown animals like rats, monkeys or even fruit flies. If the treatment is successful after a lot of consideration, we proceed to human trials. The way this works is by gradually increasing the number of human subjects who undergo treatment and constantly monitor the results and these are called phases and in each phase there are more people who are getting treated at any juncture if there is an issue the trials will be put on hold and will have to be repeated because all of these will be checked later now this new therapy that completely cures diabetes has cleared its trials with lab mice and has reached the human phase its pilot trial that involved a human was a success to move on to the next phase, they will require more patients and they will most probably chosen from these hospitals, Renji Hospital and Shanghai Hospital, both located in China and this new treatment originates from the researchers part of their team. China has one of the highest number of diabetic patients globally and this new therapy could slash this healthcare burden for its citizens. Currently, there are plans to extend the application of this treatment with some modification to type 1 diabetic patients and in our interconnected world I wouldn't be surprised if more countries come up with their versions of this new therapy so we can expect more interesting stuff in the future. Speaking of interesting stuff, do you know there's a scientific team that is currently gearing up for human trials with a HIV cure? Check out this brief video for more information.